good agent of chaos back at Ark Survival Evolved on the PC. Title of the video, Goodbye Legacy. Now, I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm just going to, I'm going to vent and you guys are going to have to just sit here and listen to me vent because this is something that pisses me off. It, this pisses me off more than when the developers at Wildcard nerfed Flyers. They nerfed them all. It pissed me off. My God, did it ever piss me off. I got over it. Figured, whatever. Okay. What they're doing now pisses me off even more. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't play Ark, or if you do play Ark and you still don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about, in their infinite fucking wisdom, the developers over at Studio, Studio Wildcard have decided that it's time to start killing off legacy servers. I don't know what's going on with the, with the flicker there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it on my monitor. I don't like it. They've decided to start killing off legacy servers. Now, I have read on a bunch of forums, and I keep up to date with it. A lot of people are speculating that by the end of 2018, we are in the middle of fucking July at the moment of this recording, that by the end of 2018, all legacy servers will be gone. It's either move to an official, play single player, or don't play at all. Whatever. But it pisses me off. I take issue with it because, for a few reasons. Number one is, is that when they do kill a legacy server, everybody migrates. They don't want to lose their work. I get that. The problem I have with that is if you're going to kill servers, then the remaining servers you need to, for the short time being, if it is the plan to kill them by the end of 2018, for the time being, you need to increase tame limit. I play on a Ragnarok server, as you can see right here. Ragnarok 35. Okay? Tame capped. Every day. Tame capped. Even when they... Even when it wasn't... The legacy servers weren't being killed off. This server was tame capped all the time. All the fucking time. Now that they've started to kill off servers and they have more people coming over and they actually advertise this Pacific server on their website. It is the most popular Ragnarok server. 35 is the most popular. But they don't increase tame limits. So the people that have been playing on the server for however long, well, now they can't breed their Rexes. They can't... They can't breed dinos. They can't tame any more dinos if they need to because of the new people coming over. Now, that's not, the, that's not the player's fault. That's completely the dev's fault. That's issue number one. Issue number two is... I have been playing this game since early access. I started on PC. I went over to the Xbox. And now I'm back over on PC. I have played this game since pretty much the beginning. You're going to start killing off servers. Some people, I have a friend who used to play, he, you know, his tribe just very recently moved to an official server. He put 6,000 hours into his two legacy servers that he was on. 6,000 hours. It's a fuck ton of time. For the developers to just come out and say, you know what, we don't give a shit about how much work that you've put into our game. We don't give a shit how popular you have made our game. Guess what? We're going to fuck you over. Your server's gone. And now you have to start fresh on an official server. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Now, I understand that it is the developer's game. They can do with it whatever they see fit. It, It's theirs. We only pay them to play it. But here's the thing, Studio Wildcard, is that without us playing and buying your game, you wouldn't have a fucking game. Studio Wildcard and Activision. Call of Duty. The two biggest... Well, maybe Wildcard's not as big as Activision. It's clearly not. But those are the two developers that stand out in my mind that love to fuck their player base over. And we, as the player, sit back and take it. 
Very recently, they stopped helping legacy servers. You can't get developer help on a legacy server anymore. So, you know, somebody's, you know, pillaring your base off. Guess what? You're fucked. You can't get out of your base. You can't you can't submit a ticket and get a developer to come over and give you a hand with it. You lose your best fucking Rex due to a glitch. Guess what? You're fucked. It's gone. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit, Studio Wildcard. And if I didn't have as much time into the fucking game as I do, I would uninstall it and never play it again. But downside to that is, there's two downsides to that, actually. Downside number one is, you've already got my money, so it doesn't matter if I quit playing, because I am one very small cog in a very big machine. Number two, I love the fucking game. I love the concept of the game. I'm a nerd. I love dinosaurs. And to have a game where you can, you know, shoot a dinosaur and, and you know, sh trank a dinosaur and feed it a little bit of kibble. <laughs> Wait a certain amount of time, it wakes up, you put a saddle on it, you can ride it. That, to me, I mean, if I could live in the game for a week, I'd do it. Because that's how much I think the concept is great. The way they are... Controlling the game and, you know, killing off legacy servers and fucking us over, I think is bullshit. That's just my opinion. So, title of the video, Goodbye Legacy Servers. I'm not 100% giving up on my legacy servers yet. I play on three of them. I play on uh, The Center, I play on Ragnarok, I play on Aberration. I'm not 100% ready to give up my legacy servers, my legacy bases yet, because I have so much time invested. And we're going to take a quick, that was that was my little speech, we're going to get on with the video. What, what I plan to do is, there's going to be three videos, this being the first, I'm going to take you on a tour of my base and all of the many dinos that I have, and all of the many hours that I have put into getting said dinosaurs. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe they'll prolong it a little longer, I doubt it. So, sip of coffee here, because it's 10 o'clock at night. Let's do it. So I think we'll start in uh, the dino room because that's where the majority of my my babies are. Give you a quick little run through, and uh, we'll move on to uh, we'll move on to uh, the next video, which will be probably my aberration base. I think my six hundred two base is pretty much empty because I figured that is going to be the base that I get rid of first and I've given away a lot of a lot of dinos killed a few given away a lot of my stuff I've actually started to destroy the base a little bit so here once this renders in here's the main dino room now full disclosure here I have an obsession with Argies I had a huge obsession with them before they went and fixed them and made them look stupid and walk stupid and fly stupid. <coughs> They're still my favorite team. And well, that's the RG wing over there. I think I have something like 35 of them. Uh, at one point, I was breeding two a day. Just trying to get colors and, and, and good stats and all that bullshit. Anyway. So yeah, here's uh, here's the main dino area, and you know this is another thing that really pisses me off. If they are going to kill off legacy servers, my Reaper. Okay, you know how long it took me to find a 105 or a 150 Reaper queen to impregnate my me? It took me for fucking ever. Okay, and then after all that time of trying to find one, then I had to wait eight hours or 12 hours. Okay? For that little fucker to jump out of my chest. Okay? The first time I did it was with a level 85. It jumped out of my chest and it killed me. Because I couldn't claim it fast enough. The second time I did it was with a 120. It jumped out of my chest. Got glitched in the fucking floor. It was bobbing up and down. I couldn't claim it. So it died. Finally get my 150. She impregnates me. It bursts out of my chest. I'm able to claim it. Start raising it. That took me forever. And you're telling me that I can't 
take some of these dinos with me to an official server when you do decide to kill off the legacies, that's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I'm not saying let us take all 500 dinos if you are at 500 dinos. I'm saying let us take 50 of them. We're allowed to take 50 of our best and move them to an official. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. But anyway. So yeah, here's, uh, here's that. I got my two gigas. There's another thing too. Gigas, they take for fucking ever. You gotta find them. And then it takes forever to trank them. And then it takes forever for them to fucking tame. Ugh. But I do have a male and a female. Okay? Took me forever. The, these three right here were the most time-consuming tames. Or, you know, raising. Because I had to raise the reaper. That any one person can do. Like, yeah. And you're just, you know, no, you, you can't take shit with you. Anymore. Alright, so, uh, you know, the griffin, uh, my gigas. These two are my pride and joy, I love these guys. Uh, my spinos, you know, spinos, same thing. Uh, I started off with uh, the 264 and the 272 over there. And I, bre I kept breeding them, kept breeding, I killed a lot of them. And I finally got my fully orange one. You know, that was, a, that was a lot of breeding there. See? Raised by Chaos. Right here. You know, it took me forever to get these 27 mutations. On each side. It took me forever. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So, uh, yeah. And my mammoths. My willy rhino, which was... I, I was gonna leave him on 602, but... No, I couldn't. Uh, RG's. I have another, another Dodicarus upstairs. I'll look around. The Ankies. And when I built this base, I did it a little different. I laid out foundations as like a footprint. Uh, so you go through here and there's, there's a hallway outside. Living in the swamp, so you don't really use that that much. In here is my hatch room, my breeding room. These are my two best Rexes that I have. Kind of. They produce the best babies. Um, recently did boss fights with their babies. They were uh, they were coming out at like 395-ish, 38k health, 750-ish, 800 melee. Really good races. I only lost two the last time I went to do a boss fight. So pretty excited. Got another hallway here. In here we got the uh, shop, the workshop. Never got around to getting an industrial forge for whatever reason. Over here is the kitchen. And even though I have this uh, on water pipes, it says that there's a thousand water in it, but it's not irrigated. And I go to use it, the water runs out, that's it. I can't use it. I don't know, it's fucking weird. Uh, another hallway down here. Which doesn't lead anywhere except to the uh, generator that powers the fucking plane. I was uh, I was sick and tired of just building like a box, and you know, and just being shit just everywhere. So I took my time with this one. It took me over over a month to build. Over a month. All right. So up here, you know, we've got uh, my phylas, my megalos. You know, my my Allosaurus, or my Allos, to get those two there, I think it was the better part of two weeks to get the full mutation out of them. You know, I was breeding with friends, Allos, my Allos, like I was I was mixing and matching, and I think it was the better part of two weeks before, uh, before I actually got that. And I wasn't even going for that. That was just... That was a complete fucking surprise. Complete surprise. <coughs> uh, yeah, okay. I've got two drakes here, but I've got three over on Aberration as well. I raised uh, one of the, the orange one. Orange is my favorite color. The orange one that I have over on Aberration is my best one. It was a, uh, a 190, or, yeah, it was 198. I raised them up. My best one. I got him over on average. Oh, 
Tony's, Sarko's. This one here, I believe, was a gift. Enjoy. Uh, actually, these two coming up right here. Purple. And this one here. Once again, uh, the better part of a week. Trying to get... Uh, I believe I got this one first. I believe I got this color first. And it comes off of... Uh, I think it's the red. The red one over there. And maybe the white one down at the end. Uh, but... A lot of time just cranking out tappies and this one here uh, was uh, white and this guy here. You know? and you know just a lot of fucking time involved uh, my RGs look at them all are they beautiful look at my RGs and they want me to leave my RGs This right here is probably four or five solid months of just breeding RG after RG after RG. Now, breeding all those RGs wasn't, uh, it wasn't for nothing. Because on this server here, I have people who pay anywhere from... 3k to 5k ingots for my RG eggs because the weight, the melee, and the health are killer. They love it. My buddy, my buddy Drew, I gave him four or five eggs, and he is a massive breeder. He breeds, he breeds four gigas a week. And he was saying that he couldn't get RGs with the stats that my eggs gave me. Okay. Alright. Let's take a gander here. Not that one. I believe I was using... Are you using you the most? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's base. My eggs. Base. Oh, I didn't get some there. Sweet. Alright, let's move on to the roof. This one here. My god, I love her. Oh, she was, uh... I wonder if maybe Fudd gave me her. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Did Fudd give me her? Oh, I don't know. But it has an Ascendant Saddle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fudd, man. An old friend that doesn't play anymore. He, when we were on 602. He, uh, he doesn't play anymore. Because he was pissed off with Legacy Server 2. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take, uh, I know we're running a little long here because I'm long-winded. Take a trip over to my buddy's, uh, my buddy Drew's base, who doesn't play anymore. He's, uh, over on an official, and I think he's just gonna let his base decay. Uh, I'm missing one wyvern, uh, because it's on 602. It's a fire. It would go right here. 
my ice one, which <clears throat> I was really excited about the ice wyverns when I heard about them. Got the egg. Uh, this was a one, I want to say it was a 160 egg. Uh, this guy, or this girl, was really, really excited. You know, raised her. She was done. Hopped on her. Went to kill something. Blech. Like, I would much rather use a poison. Poison is the worst wyvern you can get. Uh, my Lightning McQueen, my Firestorm, my Doctor Poison, and, uh, Ash is back there. And check the color on this one. Isn't that wicked? I was super, super, super stoked when, uh, when it hatched. And I seen that, I was like, wow, it's black and white, that's wicked. Wicked. I lost a griffin getting it. But... It was very, very, very nice. And I got a go to for a second. And I got my three plus four. Actually, I got six on two. So yeah. Goodbye legacy server. Now, if anybody from Studio Wildcard is watching this, and I very much doubt that they are, but if they are, okay, there are people that have ten times more shit than I've got. Which means they have ten more, ten times more time into it. And you're telling us that we're just going to have to suck it the fuck up. Leave it all behind and start over somewhere else? That's bullshit. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. It took me the better part of a year to start doing boss battles. Now i got to start that all over again? Not to mention that the official servers that are out, you can't get onto because they're pillared. Like, people got pillars everywhere. That's the problem with PvE. There are fucking pillars everywhere. You couldn't, you can't build on a raft in the middle of the fucking ocean because guess what? They got pillars there. It's stupid. Now, maybe in November, when Extinction comes. Maybe that's the official server that I go and hit. Opening day, hop on it, build a base, stay there. Start fresh there. Problem with that is, is that I don't know what extinction extinction is is gonna have. Are they gonna have gigas? Are they gonna have rexes? Are they gonna have flyers? I was super excited about aberration, and let's face it, it's the worst fucking map. I like it. But it's the worst fucking map. It's worse than Scorched Earth. Which nobody plays. Nobody plays Scorched Earth. Really, Studio Wildcard? You're telling us that we gotta leave all this behind. Hmm. That to me is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. If you enjoyed the video, and if you agree with anything that I've said in this video, leave it in the comments. Because I would like to know what you guys think about them killing off legacy servers. Do you think that by the end of 2018, they are going to have them all dead? Or do you think that they'll just keep killing the ones that aren't as popular? They can't... There's not too many legacy servers left. So I'm assuming that the next time they make a kill list, they're just going to be gone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd like to hear it. Uh, in the description, Twitter, Twitch, Xbox Live, PSN, Gamer Tags, something specific you would like to see me do here on the channel, drop me a line if I can get it done for you. Uh, I'll try and do it. Uh, next video will be Goodbye Legacy Part 2, and we're going to take a look at my Aberration base, and, uh, you know, give you a little backstory there. Aberration, not as big and involved as this one. There's not as much crap there, but I do have to get over there, because I haven't been over there. So that'll be the next video. Having said all that bullshit, I am Agent of Chaos. And I'm out. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Stop. P.S. Fuck you, Studio Wildcard.